Sarma was the brand, the raw vegan queen. It was such a great environment to work in. If none of this had ever happened, we'd probably still be working there. On the surface, it seemed as though Sarma had it all. Books, fame, money, and a celebrity favorite hotspot. Owen Wilson used to just post up in the back and like walk through the kitchen. And I'm like, what is this place? We were even at the restaurant in 2005 for a party celebrating raw food, Sarma's book with then partner and boyfriend Matt Kenny. Sarma was excited to share the benefits she found becoming vegan. Feeling better in your skin, feeling more energetic, feeling happier. And it's, it's hard to articulate, but that's the main benefit. Matt and Sarma's partnership and relationship eventually ended. She was left with the restaurant, but while things on the surface were great, she was struggling financially. And then she met her now husband, Anthony Strangis, on Twitter in 2011. Sarma was telling me about a guy that she had been talking to online. There were tons of conspiracy theories about why she married him. Was there some sort of blackmail involved? Sarma says Strangis claimed to be ex-military and have a lot of money, something she says his own dad confirmed. He also connected with her beloved dog, Leon, so at first, she seemed to be in a fairy tale. He wanted me to come meet him at Tiffany's one day. And it was like the very exclusive floor where they bring you champagne. He had me trying a ring that cost $800,000. She claims Strangus started to demand money from her so he could help her grow her empire. And things got really strange when he allegedly began exerting control over her, even making concerning claims that Sarma seemed to start to believe. Anthony told Sarma she had to perform a series of tests. He promises her that he is going to make Sarma and her dog immortal. It's a complete madness. So I'm just supposed to do whatever you say and listen to your instructions and... Yes, take you signed on to this. Sarma claims Stranga slowly took over the finances and employees eventually started reporting not being paid. Some of the money coming from the restaurant business, it went straight to Anthony's pocket. She says by the time she realized it was all a lie, Sarma was $1.7 million in debt. It all came crashing down when she withdrew money one last time, claiming Strangus then convinced her to go on a road trip. Orders if a popular Manhattan vegan restaurant are under arrest, accused of ripping off their workers, police say junk food led them to the fugitives. When I heard she got caught ordering pizza in Pigeon Forge, Tennessee, I got the popcorn out. Like, let's do this. Now, Sarma ended up pleading guilty in her case. As for Strangus, he has strongly denied Sarma's claims of any control over her. He did plead guilty to four counts of grand larceny and served a year in prison.